Let me get the right chart up here. Okay. So the Battle of Armageddon happens. There's the rapture of the church, seven year tribulation. Christ comes at the second advent. That's, that's the Battle of Armageddon. Right? Before the millennium. After the thousand years, there is another battle. This is the battle of Gog and Magog. Okay. We didn't cover that. Because when Jesus comes uh, at the second advent, there are going to be people who survive the tribulation. So all the people that have been raptured have a glorified body. right? They're, you're not going to be producing children with a glorified body. But there are some people who survive the tribulation period and they enter into the kingdom. They're the ones who repopulate the earth during this thousand years. So they will be in their natural physical body. And those are the people that will rebel at the end? Yeah, so and Satan is chained for the thousand years. So at the very end, God lets Satan loose. Why would God let Satan loose? Right, in order to be the trash collector, as, as one person said. <laughs> because a lot of people uh, during this time, it's sort of like before, sort of like now. Over time, you know how it is. One generation's very faithful. The next generation is not quite as faithful. Then the next generation is really not as faithful. And then we get to the next generation, there's only a few. That's the way it's going to be at the end. There's going to be all these people that, uh, they're doing what Jesus says because he's the king ruling with a uh, rod of iron. If you don't do what he says, it's not going to go well. But there's going to be a lot of people at the end who don't believe, so the devil is let loose. He stirs them all up to lead this final rebellion, the battle of Gog and Magog. But really, God just, it's not much of a battle. God is just... Yeah, that would be Armageddon. Yeah. Yeah, Armageddon is like World War III. This battle, it's going to be over before it begins.